Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and it's Monday, November 3rd. No, October 3rd. <laughs> Tesla's stock is down 8% today, while the NASDAQ is up 2%. This is one of Tesla's biggest drops of the year, and it comes off of two separate events that happened since the market closed. The first news is that Tesla confirmed that it had beat both its delivery and production records by a significant margin, with more than 343,000 vehicles delivered and over 365,000 produced over the last three months. Tesla confirmed that it produced almost 346,000 Model 3 and Ys and delivered roughly 325,000 of them. Some are still in transit, and Tesla cites that they could not find reasonable transportation towards the end of the quarter. This already sounds like pretty good news, however, some believe that this is falling short of expectations. What has likely negatively affected the stock price is the information from Tesla's AI Day event. After pulling opinions from analysts and social media, it appears that the consensus is mainly that the two prototypes that were unveiled were mostly underwhelming. Musk said that, quote, only a few people understand the value of Tesla bot. He also went on to say that he believes that the humanoid robot can eventually increase economic output by an order of magnitude. Another criticism of the event was that Tesla did not communicate clearly how much closer it is to the goal of delivering a self-driving system. The stock is currently trading at $242.40 a share. Stay tuned for my opinion on Tesla's artificial intelligence programs. Tesla is finally planning to expand Gigafactory Nevada after years of being stuck at about 30% of its final size. According to sources familiar with the matter, the Tesla plans are starting to build Gigafactory Nevada with an expansion of the C, as in cat, section of the building. Tesla and Panasonic are currently working together to produce Tesla's new 4680 battery cell format, and that's expected to support the production of the automaker's future electric vehicles. The expansion project is expected to bring the factory's output closer to the original goal of about 105 gigawatt hours of battery cell production and over 150 gigawatt hours of battery packs. Tesla would eventually like to also have raw materials processing at the factory. There's no clear timeline for the start of the construction project, but if it's like many other expansions and build-outs from the automaker, it'll happen pretty fast. Tesla has unveiled its latest version of its Dojo supercomputer, apparently so powerful that it tripped the power grid in Palo Alto. Dojo is Tesla's own custom supercomputer platform built from the ground up for AI machine learning, and more specifically, for video training of the full self-driving system. Tesla has unveiled the progress that they made with the Dojo program over the last year, and it looks like it's quite a bit. The company confirmed that it managed to go from a chip and tile system to a tray and full cabinet. They had to develop their own high-powered cooling and power systems to build the cabinets, but now Bill Chang, who is Tesla's principal system engineer for Dojo, said that they are having to re-examine every aspect of the infrastructure. Tesla tripped the electric grid substation while testing the infrastructure earlier this year. The company used the event to try to recruit more talent, but they also shared that it is on schedule to have its full first cluster, or exapod, in the first quarter of 2023. Tesla also says that they are planning to have seven Dojo exapods in Palo Alto. That's going to take a great deal of power. The Chevrolet Bolt EV is actually still alive, and it delivers a record quarter of sales. There's so much demand that GM announced that they plan to increase production, which is... Quite the surprise for an otherwise trailing EV program. The Bolt EV had seemed to be on life support until now. That program was met with a massive recall and a halt of production when battery fires broke out on several units. But now, today, General Motors released its third quarter 2022 delivery results, and the automaker confirmed that the Bolt EV and EUV had their best combined quarter for deliveries at almost 15,000 in the U.S., there must be clear skies ahead, as General Motors says that they plan to go from 44,000 EVs and EUV vehicles in 22 to more than 70,000 in 23. Now, it's not exactly surprising that General Motors is seeing high demand for the vehicle, considering that the Chevy Bolt are getting a significant price cut of $6,000, while many others are seeing an increase. As for the rest of the GM lineup, they reported only 36 Cadillac Lyric deliveries, 411 GMC Hummers, and that's all in the third quarter. Chinese automaker BYD released some of their quarterly numbers today, saying that they sold a whopping 94,941 battery electric vehicles last month in China. That's actually up 161.5% compared to September 
of 2021. As a matter of fact, September's growth marks seven straight months of record sales for BYD. Late last month, they officially launched three EVs for the European markets, which now include Belgium, Denmark, Germany, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands, Norway, and Sweden. BYD has also shared plans to sell its vehicles in Japan, although I personally don't imagine that would go terribly well. According to BYD's chairman and president, Wang Chongfu, the company is aiming to achieve monthly deliveries of 280,000 units by the end of the year. Okay, here is my opinion focused around Tesla's AI Day developments. Most of you recall that my low expectations were met for the current performance of the Tesla robot prototype. To be clear, low expectations now does not mean that I don't have high expectations for the future. One of the issues that Tesla has at large is selling the future. For many years now, Tesla's product called full self-driving is not full self-driving, and this has tainted the perception of Tesla for many buyers and investors. I think that the absence of an update for the full self-driving program was not taken well from the AI Day event. I think that the investors who are in for fast and loose trading, looking for a quick buck, uh, they saw the robot and began to sell. Some of them who are looking at more details and key indicators probably didn't like that there was not a full self-driving update that met their expectations either, and they may have sold. So, nevertheless, if you believe in the future of robotic cars, robotic humanoids, and Mars terraforming, then you would not be dismayed by either of those bits of news. If that is your position, then right now would be a great time to invest in Tesla. In today's community comment found on YouTube, some of you were not pleased with my take on the Tesla robot. A user named Flev says, We'll be looking forward to your continued excellent reporting, but probably skip your opinions on advanced technology. You know what, Flev? That actually means a lot to me, as I do what I can to pe keep my opinion clear from the news stories, and it seems that that effort is enough that you enjoy the rest of the show. So that's good news to me. Martin Woods actually had a very good point, saying that these robots could be very useful on the surface of Mars. That is definitely some food for thought. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.